kidding, we're gonna be doing a chill guitar track with some cool guitar vibes. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here I'll show you how I did those guitars. And then over here we got a, like a lower octave, it's almost like a bass. Let's just go in there. And then you pitch shift it down and it sounds like a bass. So I don't need a real bass because I don't have one. And here's the, the vocal track. So that I got from Splice. If you guys don't have Splice, you're really missing out. It's just has everything. It's like a producer's paradise. Everybody knows that I know you want it, baby. So then once that's sorted, we can go straight to the drop, which I'm using a Calvin Harris style guitar. So I'll show you how I did that guitar right now. Yeah, I'm going to show you in depth how I did this guitar. So as you can see, without the effects, it's a very different sound. And then, this is a cool thing, a pedal board, if you ever record guitar, or even a soundboard. You can do this on anything. So here I have, I think I have the wild one. Compression. And this is tremolo, which is, I think what gives it this like sweeping. It comes in and out. So those settings obviously. And then the rest is very really nice. I think it is similar to And then I added the bass is quite cool. So it's retro synth with some glide. So what I did there was, I just pitch bent the notes, so a lot of times it does it for you, but this specific sound didn't, so I just had to draw it in. And then, here's the drums. It's, you, gotta have, you gotta get your percussion right. Here is it all together again for you. So 
So what makes this one so weird is that there's a crusher. So just mess around with the settings and you'll get that. That's it's like a very exaggerated pluck sound. And then you want to add side chain. Because without it, it doesn't sound right. So you go and add one for kick and snare. So here guys you can hear the difference and actually you're able to tell what it does. And as you saw there I have all the specific channels like the guitar, the bass, they're all going to the bus 10. And bus 10 has the, where the side chain is happening, so you want to do that. Then master channel. You got the sausage pattern that just helps. I don't know why I put another limiter there. They really don't need it. But. So you guys made it to the end of the video. Very proud of you guys. If you guys would please leave this emoji in the comment section so that only we know about it and those who didn't watch won't know about it. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.